When Philadelphia's Veterans Stadium was demolished in 2004, a secret it held for decades also went up in smoke, until now. I was ubiquitous. I made it a point of hiding in plain sight when I... Tom Garvey says he called the stadium home for three years. He details his time there in his new book, The Secret Apartment. It was a great place to be for a guy. It was a man cave. It had everything. The Phillies and the Eagles played 60 feet from my front door. I was like Willy Wonka with a golden ticket. Through a family connection, Garvey landed a job managing the stadium's parking lots. He used a storage room to temporarily hold some furniture given to him by a player on the Eagles. But the idea to turn the room into an apartment took root when the vet's parking lot was about to fill up ahead of a visit by Pope John Paul II in 1979. I put together a skeletal crew from a bar on South Street, friends of mine, and I couldn't trust these guys to show up at 4 o'clock in the morning uh, with their clothes on and sober. So I uh, took them down there the night before for a sleep out, sleepover. And in the dark, using that furniture and sleeping in that room, somebody said, you know, if you just cleaned up this place and rearranged it, this would be a great apartment, the coolest apartment in the world. And it was. And I, from that night on, I stayed there. Garvey, a Vietnam vet, credits the solitude of stadium life for helping him cope with the trauma of war. I had these times when the building was just mine and nobody was there, nobody. And I would roam around the building or ride my bike upstairs. It was, I was like 10 stories high looking at Philadelphia from a 360 degree loop. And I could just go round and round and round and just lose myself. As with most legends, there's no physical proof of the secret apartment, only stories. So we tracked down Richard Osborne. He was that Eagles player who gave Garvey the furniture that kickstarted the idea. It was a neat place. Not that my furniture was all that good. Richard, everything he says is true? Totally. To totally. And he's, he's not even embellishing anything. There are going to be some people who are going to be skeptical when they hear your story. What do you say to those people? It's okay. I wouldn't believe it either. I, I started it all out with that. I said, you know, if I've heard this in a bar or at a party, I wouldn't believe it. All right, so no security cameras, but plenty of places, I'm told, for adult beverages. I so. think he's going to sure. start something here in <laughs> stadiums across the country. Good stuff. All right, well, you can hear more of my interview with Tom Garvey on today's CBS This Morning podcast, available on your favorite podcast platform. A podcast? Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Check that out. He was out, a character. Right? All right.